Hey guys, so far we have discussed how to write our test script using the page object model. We have written for the sign up as well as the sign in page. But in our test script, we have directly hard coded all the values. For example, this name, email ID, password, and some of the error validation message, and same for the sign in page as well. Writing the test data within the same page is not best practice. So we are going to get rid of this using the JSON. What is JSON? JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation and it is an open standard file format. It is very easy to read the data and to write the data as well and also it is very readable in format. It is just looks like a text file with some bunch of curly braces and that's it. We have pages where we have designed all our pages based on the um, screens and we have this test where we have written our test script. Now we are going to create a folder called test data. It is not necessary we should maintain only one file. It can be varies based on the project. You can have it based on your test cases or maybe based on the modules. In my case, I have only the sign up and the sign in page. So I'm just going to keep only one test data file. So within the folder, I will create a new file and let's name this as user info dot json and within the json we always start with the curly braces and here i'm going to write for the sign up first and make sure your this is like your key and the value and key should be always within the string and then colon and within the curly braces we are going to give some set of data so here i will say name and then followed by actual name and i'm just going to write this very quickly so just add comma and add another sets of value and from the sign up spec, we are just going to copy this um, validation message within this as well. So here, this is for your like uh, invalid email. So I'm just going to make this as invalid email. And let me copy this from here and paste over here. Similarly, I'm going to do for rest of the things as well. So let me just copy this. And this is for my password. So here I will say, invalid password and this value and the last value both are technically same so we no need to write two times just we can use the same data and similarly i'm just going to do for the login page as well so after this curly braces add comma and here i'm just going to name this as login and then colon and again within the curly braces we are going to write another set of data so of course that should also have this email and the password so i'm just going to copy this of course, I can use it from there all as well, but just to make you understand, I'm trying to do like in this way. And if I go back to my sign in spec, here we can see that we have this welcome message as well, right? So I'm just going to copy this and here I will say and that's it. So we are done with our tests data json file so one is for the sign up and another one is for the login or the sign so let us see how to use this in our test script so if i go back to my sign up spec first of all we have to import that so for that i'm just going to use this const and then followed by let's name this as test data equal to we have to do the request so and here we have to pass the file location so that's going to be test data slash the following json file and of course the extension we have to give file extension and then using this object i can replace all the values for example here i can say like test data dot sign up dot name so as soon as you give this dot your vs code can understand the json file and it will give you all the keys keys in the sense this guys are known as keys and those guys are value so i'm just going to quickly write the same way for all others data as well. That's it, we are pretty much done. So what are the values we have hard coded? We have removed that using the JSON file. Okay. So similarly, we can do also for the sign in spec and that's going to be very, very easy. So same way we have to just import and instead of this hard coded values, we are going to replace all the values using the JSON. So I'm not going to do this. I think this is pretty much cool. Now let's try to run this and make sure that it's going to run. So 
Okay, so you can see that the value has typed successfully here. That means, of course, whatever the value we have given from our JSON, it is able to fetch in this one, right? And of course, we can see that our test curve ran successfully and four specs with zero failures. And it took around 20 seconds to complete all my test case. So in this way, we can change whatever the value we have hard coded using the JSON file. So I hope this makes sense to you and this is very easy to understand. So just quickly recap. So first of all, we have this test data folder and within this, we have this JSON file where we have this sign up and the login and within the sign up we have few datas and within the login we have few datas now whatever the values we have hard coded in our test script we just replaced with the json so first of all we have to do the import for that i have to use this require in javascript in terms of typescript you can use the import statement directly and using that object we are just calling this sign up then followed by name now if you want to know what is the data within this probably you can just control and mouse over it will give you like what is the key and value present within this particular field that's it pretty much easy and i have uploaded the entire playlist of the page object model in this particular uh, github repository so you can just use the code from here that's it from my side thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon